ओपन एजुकेशन हालांकि जिस तरफ दुनिया जा रही है ओपन एजुकेशन इज गोइंग टू बिकम अ नॉम जो बड़ी बड़ी यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं उन लोगों का बहुत बड़ा फोकस है अभी ओपन एजुकेशन और ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन के ऊपर और मैं बधाई देना चाहूँगा उत्तराखंड ओपन ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी को कि उन्होंने जो डिजिटल मीडिया और इस तरह के जो कोर्सेज हैं उसको उन्होंने ऑनलाइन माध्यम से पढ़ाने का और आप लोगों को उसमें ट्रेन करने का एक बीड़ा उठाया है और मैं समझता हूँ कि दूर दराज के क्षेत्रों में क्षेत्रों के जो बच्चे बाहर आके शहरों में आके ये शिक्षा नहीं ले सकते उसको उनको इसका बहुत बहुत आने वाले दिनों में फायदा होगा मेरा परिचय आपने दे दिया है सो आई वुड नॉट टॉक मच अबाउट इट मच अबाउट इट आई आई ऑल्सो बिलोंग टू उत्तराखंड a small village in champawal district uh, did all of my uh, you know school and college education there then came came down to uh, delhi and then mumbai have worked with many organizations starting from drdo to mtnl reliance mahindra's uh, and accenture and sl group uh, cag international and uh, uh, i also set up my own uh, company uh, edb sol private limited and i am consulting with many other um, other companies uh, and also mentoring startups especially in rural areas uh, we can talk about that and what we have done through um, through digital media that also we can touch upon a little bit um ye uttarakhand mukt vishwavidyalay ki site hai aap log isse bhali bhanti vaqif honge Uh, बड़े अच्छे स्टडी uh, मटेरियल्स हैं डिजिटल इकोसिस्टम के ऊपर सोशल मीडिया के ऊपर uh, क्या स्ट्रेटजी होनी चाहिए प्रमोशन uh, के लिए टूल्स क्या हैं अगर आप uh, अपना फ्रीलेंस uh, uh, काम करना चाहें बिकॉज देर आर ह्यूज अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन दैट स्पेस यू कैन बी ए कंटेंट क्रिएटर यू कैन बी एन एग्रीगेटर uh you can be digital marketing professional you could, could be an influencer blogger uh, what not uh, right um so there's lot of lot of information there in the, the study material they are very very high quality study material i hope uh, i assume that you have gone through it um and um uh if not everything but you have some idea about what this is um and some tools uh, that Uh, you know uh, are mentioned in the study study materials um next around 80 90 minutes uh, i have divided this into three areas i really want to talk to you three things one is what is marketing uh, why are we talking about it uh, you know um, a brief overview of what it is because uh, people confuse sometimes marketing with sales uh, or uh, advertising or something but this is Uh, all together together a different area uh, it's not sales uh, by the way uh, so what is it and why digital what is happening in digital how digital has disrupted and what are the trends that we see uh, in the market as we speak today and those trends are changing uh, very very rapidly uh, right um, some of the companies you might have seen uh, amazon uh, uh, facebook um uh, Uh, whatsapp youtube many others in in the digital ecosystem they were not there at uh, 20 years ago when we were uh, in colleges we were studying we didn't have these companies we didn't have these opportunities so things are changing very fast in a uh, in a old uh, uh, system um life cycle of a business used to be 60 70 years if there is some business it used to last around 60 70 years but that is has very drastically come down um 20 25 years that is what we hear um so um you know uh uh everything is a cycle so everything is goes up comes down and that happens and uh, the people who keep on innovating themselves uh when the things are things take down trend 
then they bring in innovation to uh, you know reverse the trend and that is why the companies large good companies they survive in the market uh, digital has completely disrupted uh, the marketplace right and that is why um, we see so many young uh, people boys and girls they are pursuing digital marketing uh, through open medium uh, then something on you know if you are to work for a digital marketing company uh, or an it company or a social media company or you want to start on your own huge huge opportunities then what are some of the strategies that you should uh, focus on and what are some of the common tools that are available there is number of tools available in the internet free of course some of them could be paid uh, but how do we use how do you use how do you take advantage of those those tools um for your own success your growth uh, and your own development uh, anything uh, anybody any question on this agenda because this is a virtual medium uh, please please um speak out um uh, otherwise you'll miss and i also miss i know something because as you are learning for me also this is learning right so whenever uh, the communication has to be two way communication so you can put in your query your question your doubt on chat or you can unmute yourself if possible and speak um, that way it becomes easy uh, to exchange the ideas right and that is what uh, the difference between the old school thought uh, and the new school which is digitally driven um overview what is marketing can all of you write what you understand from marketing in the chat box what do you understand what is marketing what do you understand from marketing what do you think it is quickly one or two minutes can if you can could quickly write it down in the chat box so that i know a you are listening and b you are interested in you are curious about knowing it very good promotion of products ankit says promotion of products promote your business so business products anyways they are uh, similar or yourself that, that's a wonderful um, this thing because we ourselves are the the products now right so creating a market for your product and services yeah services as well uh, selling products selling is not actually uh, the marketing it comes after you have uh, you know um, uh, got a customer uh, then you sell the products but marketing is just ahead of uh, selling so therefore people confuse marketing with sales but marketing is to prepare a customer so that you can sell your product right marketing means promotion and advertising of products and services very good create demand fine awesome um so uh, that's wonderful um american uh, marketing association is um, has defined what marketing is the activity um set of institutions all of people all people who work for this and processes for creating communicating communication is very important because you can create anything but unless and until you communicate with the people the prospective customers uh, it doesn't make any sense delivering that message to them and exchange offerings that have value for customers you might have something but if it doesn't have the value for customers uh, it doesn't have any meaning right so um, customers client partners and society at large society at large because in today's world so social people are talking about um, society so this society at large this term uh, was uh, added in 2008 uh, till then it was client partners and customers uh, and this definition has evolved over a period of time and ama reviews this definition every 3 years uh, right for market marketing sir and they they add um something they release something they update this because the things change and therefore the meanings also change 
uh, and I think all of this so in chat box, whatever you wrote, that is applicable. All of those answers are good answers, correct answers. So that is what is marketing. That is what the marketing is. It's not sales. And why digital? Why are we talking about digital? Um, anybody uh, knows what this picture is all about? Anybody quickly? So this gentleman is Henry Ford. He built, uh, I mean, kind of monopolized car market for a considerable um, period of time. Um, and um, what he used to say is, I can have a car in any color you want, as long as it is black. The, when uh, people started manufacturing cars, the color was only black. So there used to be only black cars. Over a period of time, there have been number of, uh, um, you know, colors. They, they are available in number of colors. And uh, um, I mean, uh, yes, Christian has this hand. Yes, Christian. Uh, Gopalaji, can you unmute Krishna because he wants to ask something or he can uh, write a question, write something on. Yes, sir. I did. Yes, sir. I did. Yes, Krishna. You can unmute, please. You can unmute and you can ask, please. What is digital? Krishan is asking. Digital means the me medium a channel which is which is um, you know is based on electronic electronics digital medium right um, tv the computer the medium that we are using to communicate all of these things are these are digital technologies uh, so when we leverage digital technologies that channel is called a digital channel right the channel that we are using for marketing if it is a digital channel, this is a digital marketing. Did I answer your question? Yes, sir. Okay. So um, Henry Ford, he said, I can manufacture a car in any color as long as it is black. Meaning I can only manufacture a car which is black in color. Right. And other statement, he said, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. Meaning at that point in time, in those days, if he would have gone to customers and asked what they want, and that relates to marketing research, right? What is that you want? People would not have told car. They would have told we want faster horses. So that reflects the seller's mind. He says, I have manufacture a car which is black in color if you want you can use it otherwise i i mean i don't bother right i don't care but that is not there today today things have changed word has changed situations have changed i mean if henry ford would say that today nobody will buy his car right is he will lose money is he'll go bankrupt uh, he might have gone ultimately because um, uh, food cars are not that popular today. T today we are talking about Tesla, we are talking about a lot of other things, right? Um, because they have uh, uh, been in sync with, with, with customer demand, what customer want. Now the world has changed, the market has changed. It used to be seller's market, now it is a buyer's market. Customer opinion, customer expectation, customer requirement as needs are more important, most important, and it, that is what uh, you know. Every company is concerned about, and that is what they value the most today. So, therefore, it is now a buyer's market, not a seller's market anymore. People's choices have changed. The world has become more connected and virtual today, and therefore, digital is the medium to reach out to a large number of people. You see some of the statistics and. 
um, in subsequent slides, um, around 7 billion people, they are connected today. Large number of people uh, and speed, right? So if you want to buy something online today, it's, um, it's on your mobile phone or your computer or your tab and it gets delivered. I mean, in a city like Mumbai, Delhi, it gets delivered within one or two hours, anything that you want. So that is why digital is important. And that is why all of you people are doing the right thing today, um, educating yourself on <clears throat> digital technologies and marketing and these things. Social, social is a large, large proportion of digital channels um, <clears throat> uh, is covered by social media today. I mean, uh, it is synonym to digital media, actually synonym to social media. Uh, if I say that, I'll not be exaggerating, but it's not only technology. When you say social media, uh, a form of electronic company, what is social media? It is about sociology and psychology more than the technology. You have the technology there, you have a mobile phone, uh, but the message that comes to the mobile phone doesn't deal with technology. It deals with your, your, your social, your social behavior and your psychology. So therefore, social media is more about sociology and psychology than technology. Technology only is, facilitates that messaging. Therefore, it's important to understand uh, the social behaviors and uh, psychological, you know, mental bent up of the customers. The customer is the key, right? So a form of electronic communication, which could be anything. It could be a website, it could be a social network, it could be a Facebook post, it could be blogging, it could be anything through which users create online communities. Why? To share information, ideas, personal messages, and other content, which influences right, their decisions or their behavior. Um, the website and the application that enable users to create and share content or to participate in this activity, they're all part of the social networking, all Facebook, Instagram, all these tools are part of that ecosystem. So uh, it has evolved over a period of time, until 1997, uh, we didn't uh, know about these things and over a period of time, starting with six degrees, um, then, um, LinkedIn, Facebook came in, YouTube came in 2005, Twitter came in 2006, and it has become so crowded today that it looks like this. There are number of tools available uh, which can be used. And this is, is altogether a new word there um, today, uh, which, is, which has changed uh, the, uh, uh, the market the world altogether, right? The boundaries have gone. So world has become a virtual small village, um, very fast, uh, resilient. Uh, had it not been there, we would not have been able to sort of cope up with uh, the situation that we were thrown in uh, by Corona. You would not have ever, you would not have, um, uh, you know, managed uh, as we did in Corona time. So that was made possible because of the technological innovation and development that we have seen in the last 20 years. Um, that is why we are able to sort of, uh, you know, interact, uh, conduct this class today. Had it not been there, had digital, digital technologies not been there, you would not have done this. You would not have been able to do this. So therefore, um, there's a need to understand what this is and what is in it for us and what should we do so that we are able to leverage our talent our skills to survive in this um, you know ruthless world um, so that is the overview of of marketing from a digital perspective i try to sort of give a sense of why digital uh, is important uh, and we should be which will reflect in, in, in slides which so what is the trend that we have seen uh, in uh, you know through digital 
digital disruption. Any question on that, that section, please? Um, anything, any question? Anything which is not clear? I think no question from the participants, sir. You may carry on. Okay, very good. Um, so, as I said, total population, so total world population is 7.89 billion. Uh, and this data is until October 2021. 56.6% live. Uh, in urban settlements, right? Uh, and urbanization is um, increasing very rapidly. Uh, still something around 43, 44% is still live in villages. 5.29 billion of them, so they have mobile phones. And I was trying to see uh, what percentage of that is smartphones, large number, more than 90% use smartphones today, which is 67.1% of the total population. Um, 4.88 have internet access. Um, I think in hills, some remote villages, there are still some issues with uh, connectivity, but because all of you are able to connect, many of you might be from villages, I don't know. Um, but in remote villages also internet connectivity is available, 4.88 billion, which is 61%, 61-62% of the world population, they are internet use users. And most of this, no, active social media users are 4.55 billion across the globe, which is 57.6% of the total population. So you can see, you know, why, when we say in the last slide, why digital? Uh, the answer is this. The Major, major portion of the uh, population is, uh, you know, consisting of active social media users. Because, uh, and if you have to reach out to these uh, people, four point five five billion, you have to have, uh, you know, digital literacy. You have to have capabilities to connect with them digitally. You have to have capabilities to influence them through digital channels because you'll not be able to meet them. Uh, and therefore, the digital channel of marketing is so important. Further, if you look at growth, uh, total population <clears throat> increased by 1% from October 2020 to October 2021, 80 million new people, uh, uh, you know, uh, they, they came to this world. So that's net addition, um, 80 million. Um, unique mobile phone users, 2% uh, increased, 97 million added. Uh, internet users, 222 million, and it's increasing 5% more. Uh, and if you look at social media, it increased by almost 10%, 409 million new active social media users have been added in last one year. And this number, this percent is increasing day by day. And days are not far when the entire population, I mean, even the kids, right? So entire population would be on active social social media. I, I, I was in my village um, last week um, uh, for a family exigency. Uh, and I saw a small child, you know, two, two, uh, two years maybe. Um, he had a smartphone and his mother, uh, you know, because <clears throat> she had to look after him and he would uh, quite often disturb her. So she gave him a smartphone to play. And that that boy, that kid, two years, uh, was able to navigate so um, um, uh, easily through the screen to uh, the characters. And I think he was also uh, able to identify who those characters are. Um, so um, I will not be uh, surprised if 
everybody after say one year will have a mobile phone and maybe mobile phone companies will bring in some uh, model which will be for a one year uh, toddler maybe right so that is what has been uh, in terms of growth digital growth globally and that is influencing the market why people are turning to digital uh, mediums is because of this um then daily daily time is spent right so we have how much 24 hours out of 24 hours um, a healthy person would sleep for at least for 8 8 hours um then uh, you need to do your daily chores um you need to eat but if you look at time spent using all using the internet all devices average is 6 hour 58 minutes and it's increasing quite quarter on quarter 0.7 percent um uh, time spent watching television is three hours in you know, 21 minutes two hour 27 minutes on an average people are spending on social media so meaning that is the place where you can find a customer right because two hours 27 minutes every day they are in any of the platforms, social media platform we'll see you know what those top ranking platforms are um time is spent reading press media online and physical print uh, again is two hour uh, five minutes and um and then other other things that people do uh, online um so what we are trying to say is people are very active for most of their active day unless until they are sleeping they are active in in social media they are active in digital media so therefore probability of finding them raising them is through digital channels or social media channels okay um why people are using internet um for information uh, 60 percent of them uh, are for uh, information um uh, and a lot of other other things but what is important is research researching products and brands you know because we are talking about marketing so this is more important uh, finding new deal new ideas on on inspiration um, but researching products and branding which is 45.7 percent um, is very important from a marketing pers perspective and i think this will this will increase education researching places vacations and travels because some of the industries like travel industry that is or aviation industry that depends on uh, these kind of stuff so they're using internet uh, for uh, getting deals and therefore internet is uh, facilitating um, marketing and therefore selling which results into revenue and which is the reason why people do businesses so therefore if somebody thinks that without internet or without digital medium he will still be able to do some business um, then those days are gone it's not possible anymore and therefore also the digital marketing or digital way of doing things is very very important and it is going to increase day by day uh, there would be additions like ai and ml and deep learning and all those kind of things but this medium is going to rule the world for at least another decade till something more disruptive comes into play um so most visited websites as um uh with uh, i mean uh this is through simras uh as per them uh google youtube facebook these are uh the most visited uh sites are 20 top uh most visited websites in the in the world uh, right um and uh, top types of websites visited and apps use social networks 
95.8 percent social networks chat and messaging platforms search engines or web portals these three are top three are these and then shopping auctions or classifieds another there is a fourth and that is very important from you know selling and marketing perspective uh most used social platforms is facebook youtube whatsapp instagram and i think all of us use that quite quite frequently frequently uh, 2.8 billion active facebook users youtube 2.2 billion uh, and whatsapp now whatsapp also is a facebook company instagram also is a facebook company we are calling it meta now um so these are the companies uh, or social platforms which are ruling the world today they provide a lot of tools um and opportunities uh, for us to learn and grow with them right uh, facebook advertisement for example your own facebook page um your channel on youtube so that give you an opportunity uh, to grow with them um use of social network for brand research is very important very very interesting inside you can see worldwide average is 43.2% uh, people use social networks for brand research we generally feel that the western countries like us and uk um, they uh, um, use technology more than us but you can see you know we are far ahead Uh, as compared to uk or us or some of those so called developed countries uh, we are 47.4% people in india they are using social networks for brand research and those kind of activities and therefore it's important in india to be digitally uh, literate digitally competent and um, you know continue to explore the opportunities uh, to learn new things in in digital space um and use digital media as, as as a tool to grow your business um facebook ad reach ranking index is on on the top um youtube ad reach ranking india is on the top instagram advertisement reach india is on the top ahead of us um linkedin we are still uh you know uh, Uh, catching up we are still uh, behind usa but i think we will um, overtake them uh, very shortly um, twitter but we are still behind japan and japan japan and usa uh, but um, many uh, the educated uh, lot uh, is hooked to twitter um, in these days so that population also is increasing so meaning we are you know driving the digital growth in india even though we are still called a developing country but we are way ahead than many of the developed countries in these new areas and uh, days are not far when we will be number one because we have the talent we have the age factor on our side our average age is far more less than any other country 28 29 years a young population energetic uh, people like you um, who have energy who can learn new things very quickly uh, and that is what is uh, helping uh, us in in driving some of these technological innovations and developments and future trends that we can we see is lot of lot of uh, user generated content uh will continue to grow um people will develop uh, their own own content um i was reading um, so i've been um talking to many uh, students in um uh, in uh, at, uh, as far as uttarakhand is concerned so, um that is what i want to uh interact more and more with young students uh and what we are telling is what is that we have in uttarakhand i uh, attended uh, atmanirbhar uttarakhand conclave uh, in november at dehradun um and um, we 
we said uh, Uttarakhand has to create a unique identity for ourselves. What we have, we have Himalayas, we have the environment, all water flows from Himalayas. Um, glaciers are there. I was reading a World Bank report. Um, they had, they spent $500 million in, uh, um, in the study, and then they came up with that report on glaciers. Um, why cannot we, who live near those glaciers, um, can study and do some research and tell people participate in those uh, kind of activities? Generate. I was talking to somebody yesterday. Uh, can we? Uh, uh, make a documentary on Himalayan glaciers or glaciers in Uttarakhand, 9,500 plus glaciers in Uttarakhand. Can we make a documentary? And that is what you can, you can think about, right? User-generated content. Um, you can generate that content. If somebody is living in, say, Bageswar district, Pindari Glacier, he can write so many things about Pindari, Pindar Glacier, so many historical facts. Um, he can write about the water that is there, the minerals that are there in that water, which nobody knows. Uh, voice search, uh, you can search something. If there's a, a picture or if you want to search something, then you can speak out and uh, a search engine will search it for you. Emergent technologies like AR and VR, they can be used in uh, healthcare, they can be used there in, um, in space research, um, or uh, maybe in tourism sector also. Brands will focus on highly targeted campaigns, personalization. For example, you 15, 16 people are there and I have to sell some course. So I can have 19 versions of that message. So based on your personal uh, expectations, so I can customize that for each one of you, even though it's the same product, but the, the messaging could be different for 19 people, highly targeted campaigns, uh, which is called personalization, is, is going to uh, uh, be at the center stage of any marketing campaign in coming days. Social messaging applications we have already seen, um, and their, their scope will expand. Um, this social media platform will perform well. We already have seen uh, Facebook, YouTube, and there'll be a lot of mergers and acquisitions. Those will not be able to perform, will disappear very quickly um, there could be new things uh, if something could disrupt uh, the, the new platforms will come up instagram uh, you know it's going to continue because it is uh, favorite in the young uh, young people uh, social commerce will expand and we have just seen you know whatsapp has started um, financial transactions um, and social commerce uh, that will expand Brands will continue using social media. AI will um, play a major role. Um, chatbots for customer services and video content will rise in popularity. And also uh, will, will be uh, with more enhanced capability um, quality uh, with 5G coming in. Um, so these are some of the future trends that we see uh, in the digital space. So that completes my second um, uh, section, which I want to talk about. Uh, I'll pause for a minute. Uh, entrepreneurship is entrepreneurship, right? Digital is a medium. For any enterprise, if you use a digital medium, it becomes digital enterprise. So that is one thing. Second thing is, second thing, is, if I understand this correctly, so. Uh, if somebody wants, for example, to have his digital media uh, setup or business, so then yes, you can you can do. There's a lot of people they are doing digital media, digital inter in entrepreneurship. You could be a blogger. You could be a content. As I said, right, user generated content. You can generate your own content, and through that content, if people like it. You could be an entrepreneur in that, that reference. 
right? But again, digital is a medium. Entrepreneurship is a mindset, right? So if if you have that mindset and if you are able to, if you are competent in using digital media for uh, your entrepreneurial deals, you are a digital entrepreneur. But people are selling cars, right? OLX, for example. They are not car entrepreneur, right? They are digital entrepreneurs because their marketing and sales strategy is based on the digital strategy. They are selling cars online. Okay. So <clears throat> we are talking about marketing, and why do we do marketing? Because this marketing is part of of a business, right? And if you look at a business, what does a business consist of? What is the most critical element of a business? Without which, you cannot think about a business. Anybody wants to answer that question? What is the most critical element of a business? Please write whatever you you can think of. Can you write on the chat box anything anything that you can think of without which the businesses cannot exist? Idea plan yes. Investment, yes. Survey, okay. Marketing, yes. Good. So all of these are elements of business, but one of the most critical element without which a business you cannot think about a business is the customer right customer if there is no customer there is no business so customer is the most important and critical element of a business and if there is a customer so if you can see my screen on the very right hand side of the, there are nine boxes they are named one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is a business model canvas. Any new business can be put into these nine boxes. The elements of any business can be put into these nine boxes. And a business planning needs very, very focused uh, deliberation on each of these boxes. For business to prosper, somebody said ideas, um, startups. And, I mean, as per a survey, some seventy percent ideas they do not generate any result. The waste, right? Um, so, first element is the customer segment, and that is where the uh, uh, sales. Comes into play because you go and sell to the customer, right? Um, and then in the middle, you can see the product and services. What will you sell to the customer? You have to have some product or service, right? Which you can sell to the customer. And then on the extreme left, box number eight, you will see delivery. You have a product and products and service. You have a customer. But unless and until you are able to deliver it to the customer, you cannot have the business, right? And at the same time, as somebody rightly said, there are the finances. Finances uh, on the cost side and also on the revenue side because you have to earn something. And these are all interlinked. Where does marketing come into play is this red box, which engages customer communicates with him, manages him, so that he agrees to buy your services or use your services, right? So this is where the marketing comes into play. 
so what is the strategy that you will uh you know use to be very effective in this part which links your customer with your products and services if you are not able to link your products and services with your customer needs you cannot survive people will not you, you might have a wonderful product but if that product doesn't meet a target customers requirements he will not buy 